Highland viewers, this is part of a double upload day. If you missed the earlier upload, find it. Episode 39 it was. Uh, yeah, tune in. It was the FA Cup action. If you've already seen it, let's delve in. Gang. Hopefully you're up to date and you saw last episode and you're ready for action. Late Norient and Crew Alexandra, as well as some transfer bits and pieces in between to come for your eyes today. Uh, let's see then how we get on. Let's have a little bit of progression in this January window and also see if we sign the man, uh, Gareth Hanna. It seems unlikely. It seems like a terrible thing to do from a club perspective. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens today. <laughs> I'm so reckless. I'm also semi-interested in signing a striker that I would maybe own for a couple of years. Um, potentially players that have been sort of, sort of available on free transfers but previously weren't that interested in joining. Maybe now Matt Derbyshire, who can't run, um, would consider my offer. Really, we're looking at free transfers that previously had no interest but now may have some interest. For example, Freddie Montero, who back in the day was a go-to signing of mine. When he was at Seattle, I would try and get him all the time. I don't know if we'd get a work permit. I just think getting Freddie Montero in would be a good move. There's something nostalgic. If you used to play football manager back in like sort of 10 years ago when he was 24, 25, he was a go-to. And sure, you'll look at it now and think, Ben, he can't run. Why are you doing it? Because nostalgia. Um, just to see if there's any other players that maybe jump out. We're just looking for the most amount of green attributes, really, to see who's mostly well-rounded. But um, no, there's not too many else there that I can see immediately. It tends to be older players. I think that's the gist of the things uh, that go on. Here we are. Then you can see tactic screen. Uh, the team for this game, we're a bit tired after extra time uh, last game. So Burton in goal. Lehigh. I'll find it out. Uh, right back. Uh, Akuma in the fire, the back two. We've got Sedan out on that left-hand side. Pozzo sitting just in front of those two. Robinson and Bidigimani will play uh, next to him. Alabusu, Kasinga Madea and Fletcher up front. We need some goals from Marky Fletcher. He goes through these spells of doing something and then doing nothing. Um, for the last few games, no goals for him. But I sense that means goals are around the corner. So today, Marky Fletcher, do the business for me, pal. Bagiri Manor will uh, will get number four. I've been saving it for him. He's going to play that Mazala role. We've changed a few bits up. Alabiushi's gone to a winger attack. Uh, Brigamani has gone to a, uh, a, so a Mazala attack. I'm saying his name quickly, hoping it sounds okay. Some of you will have noticed. Um, yeah, sure. I can't. I don't want to call him Gale, really. I mean, I could call him Gale. Gale Force, perhaps, because he's a whirlwind in attack. I'm not going to call him that either. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to call him that. Right then, here we go. Um, we've got... I was going to say how, how long we've got... Oh my god! It's gone in! Bra oh my god! It's the perfect start to a game! Brian Turner, they kick off, three players touch it, and the just the, I mean, we'll give him the goal. It's unbelievable. I've I've it's never happened. With nine seconds in, it's one nil Boston. Oh my god. One of my favourite moments in football manager history right there. Never happened to me before, ever. That is sensational. Can we now score ourselves? Do we sign Brian Turner? Because that is, that is finishing ability of the highest level. The goalkeeper, questionable. Kasinga Madea plays it for Tamaki Fletcher. I'm a little bit shell-shocked, viewers. I did not think that would happen. I mean, not really a surprise. As Alibusa makes it 2-0. I'm not over the first goal, to be honest. Nine seconds in. He's just, he's bagged. He's from 30 yards, 40. I don't even know how far it was. Seddon. Whips in a ball, and then Alibusi there to make it 2-0. But, I, I I mean, th this this is dangerous. I mean, it could have happened. They chose not to go back to him that time, which I think they've learned their lesson. I mean, to call it the part, I, I've never had a start so good. I, when, when a defender of the opposition team scores for you within 10 seconds, it's a good day. I mean, Billy Gaman has turned up and gone, well, this is easy. I'm, I'm not having to do anything here. As um, shot it goes in, Burton with a save, and it remains at 2-0. Goodness me. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know what to say. Forward, though, come Leighton Orient as they're, um, they're working the ball quite neatly. They, they, they do look decent on the ball. I know that's a funny thing to say after what we saw earlier. But um, ball played in as... <gasps> oh, no. Akuma has scored. He's re he's returned the favour. It, it was like it was in slow motion. I can't believe this has happened in the same game. The ball's put in and Akuma there. It's a good it's not as good a finish. I don't know what our goalkeeper's doing. Oh, it's not good. It's not it's not oh no. It's not a good day for centre backs or goalkeepers. As oh no. Right, throw in on that side. Lehigh tries to find Fletcher, doesn't quite get there, but gets the chance to put the ball into the centre. It's not that good as it's easily cleared, but Akuma 
sends it in the right direction, which is which is good news. Can the Boston boys work something here and uh, create a chance for Marky Fletcher, who has been quiet recently? I'm hoping putting um, Alabusu out as a winger on that side gives us a little bit more width. As it's nearly gone in. Marky Fletcher has come out of nowhere, viewers. Marky Fletcher, it's 3 1. This should be a trip. With the length this game is going to, this could be a triple upload. No, it won't be a triple upload day. Da 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 Marky Fletcher. I mean, it's a good goal. Uh, headed across. <laughs> it's the, this guy. I'm not sure Walker's a real goalkeeper. <laughs> it's not good. Fletcher makes it 3-1. We're loving life. I said he was he was in for some goals. It was about time. And he's, he's proven me correct. Thank you, Marky Fletcher. I'm not really over Brian Turner and his goal. He's got two finishing. That needs that needs to be changed. I know he's a regen, but let's let's change it up. I'm, I'm kind of pleased he's not a real person in that sense because I would have definitely tweeted him. All right, good half of football though. Three one to the good. The team talk's going well, and as we go into the second half, I'm, anything could happen. I'm thinking what could happen to make this more ridiculous. I mean, if we scored a free kick, that would have been a bit ridiculous. I'm hoping we see some sort of bicycle kick, viewers. I think that's that's the only thing that can really top this episode off. Or I want to see Turner and Akuma collide and both get sent off. That would be good as well. As um, there's a chance for them. It's beautifully played forward. Bonnie's in on goal. Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. It's, it's saved. I'm debating whether we should go a little bit more counter-attacking, a little bit more cautious. Not so much on the front foot. Don't necessarily need to. Just sort of protect the lead a little bit for the last sort of 20 minutes. I think too often we go a little bit too gung-ho as uh, Ossie Robinson is going to come up for Chris Lawrence and change of personnel in the centre. Brian Turner. My man. Right, as the, t as the time is ticking away, we've only made one change, but I only felt really that one change was necessary. Everyone's played quite well. Kasinga Madea is going to come off for Rob Hall uh, in these latter stages. There's a potential here for us to play Rob Hall on the left-hand side as a winger and have the same thing with Alabusu. So we've got two wingers instead of two inside forwards. Um, it, it's certainly something I'm going to look at going forward. I don't think we have to stick to this narrow formation with two inside forwards really trying to penetrate the, the, the penalty area. I think getting balls into the middle to the likes of Marky Fletcher, who's got really good finishing ability... Might end up being the way forward. But um, as this game peters out, it's gone well for us. Uh, do we have to watch it again, viewers. I mean, we'll do it at the end of this game. I almost think in 2D, it was more impressive than it was in 3D for some reason. As uh, the game is almost up here, Burton to kick this forward doesn't even get the chance to. We'll quickly go back, though, to the first minute of the game. It's Blunt to Turner. He's a good 45 yards. <laughs> I've never had it happen before. I love it. That's great. That would be upvoted on Reddit, no doubt. Talk about throwing the game. Outrageous. 3-1 Boston, though. Well, I never. <laughs> I've never... Okay, moving on. Crew in a few days' time. Let's rest the boys, for heaven's sake. That was great, though. I mean, that is that is highly enjoyable for me. And Reddit, if you've seen it, I hope you enjoyed it. That was exceptional. Oh, Freddie Montero. Now we're talking. All right. I don't know how much he'll want. I mean, he's not on a contract. Where was he previous to this? Anywhere? Good Vancouver in America. Okay, so he's played at a relatively high level. He's not been prolific for a few years. Um, but that's not going to put me off. We'll do it on a, on a I mean, six-month contract uh, at one and a half a week, let's say. Let's give him a bit more. Ten grand for joining. He's Freddie Montero. The shirt sales are going to go through the roof. Um, we'll just see what he says to that. And, well, um, it was a good chat. It was nice chatting to you, Freddie. Nice to have a catch-up. We'll see you soon. Off he goes. As Doncaster accept bids. Oh, here we go. Gareth Hanna. This is the moment for us here. Key player? I think so. Right. Contract. This is where things get tasty. Because Aston Villa... <gasps> Oh my word, we're going to ruin the club. Okay, it's a two-year contract, which is not ideal for me, and I don't like it. So what we're going to have to do is add in the clause of an op optional extension for a couple of years. Let's say three years. And because he won't really enjoy that, we've got to up a few little bits and pieces in and around him. Um, so look, if you get 15 goals in one season from midfield as well, that's very impressive. Yearly wage rise, we'll give that to 15%. Signing on fee... Let's get up to tw double what Freddie Montero was getting, fella. Um, let's see what he says to that then. Kaboom. He's taken the, the contract thing out. That's very clever of him. The thing is, though, I want to be able to sell him on at some point because I think that's probably the way this is going to go. And to do that, I need to have him for a number of years. So let's just up his contract just a touch. See what he says this time. He's all for it. Gareth Hanna. Now, morally, as, a, as the manager of this football club, I don't think this is a good decision. I'm not sure what to do, viewers. I think he's a great player. He would fit into a system. We'd have to have a little bit of a system change, but we've got we've got a formation like we've got a formation ready for him. If we switch to the uh, the second version of this, Pozzo has to step out. The problem with that kind of is that Pozzo is one of our best players and has had a really good year for us this year. Um, but I mean, there's a system waiting for for Gareth Hanna. Do we just change everything to to facilitate him? Maybe put the club at risk. I mean. 
I don't know. We've got all this money. Do we just use it on a one one player? I don't know, viewers. Crew coming up though. Let, let's focus on what's in front of us, and um, it'll probably still go to Villa. So I don't know why I'm getting excited. To be honest, if he joins me over Villa, then Aston Villa need to re like they need to reassess their entire club. This is next level stuff, viewers. I might be signing a player for six hundred thousand. Hang on, what's this? Mark Fletcher is a a target for Fleetwood, the Cod Army. Just move on. It sounds like an awful clan from the Modern Warfare Two days. The Cod Army. I'm not. No, you're not going there. That's not even for my good. It's for Marky Fletcher's own good. Right then, team wise, um, it's funny because we weren't at full strength in that last game, but we did win. So I might keep the faith a little bit and go with the exact same lineup that, uh, that beat Leon Orient. Admittedly, we did have a helping hand for. We, we, sadly, in this next game, we don't have Brian Turner playing for us. But whatever. Uh, Burton in goal. Lee Hart right back. I've got Akuma in the fire, who both played well in that last one, apart from Akuma's own goal. Forget that. Apart from that, good. Seddon, Pozzo, Robinson, Billy Gamana, and uh, Alabusu and Kasinga Madea on either wing. Fletcher up top through the middle. Let's see then. Can we uh, do the business again? So far, Gale has a uh, Gale Force, has not, not lost a game. I'm changing his name as and when. <laughs> There's a massive part of me that wants to change it to Gale Force, but I can't do that. Um, I always like to check out the regions. They've got a man in the middle here that's not that good. And out wide as well. Who's this guy? Ray Scott. We might find another Hannah. This could, this could throw a spanner in the works. A spanner into the Hannah transfer, if you know what I'm saying. Come on, lads. Show what you can do. Keep this run going. Apparently winning one game and losing in the FA Cup is a run now. So that's good. Low expectations here at Boston, boys. As uh, the games begin, then, let's see what we can do. We're wearing our customary orange and black kit. And uh, they're wearing their traditional red and white. A win today could see us move maybe back into the top three places. If Grimsby falter... There's every, there's every chance, viewers. Nearly 20 minutes gone here, and we've seen not a lot of action. I've, well, I've, 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 mm, I feel like I forced that a little bit there as 1-0 crew. I, when I said that, nothing was going on. I put my big fat mouth and then crew score. I want us to play on the front foot. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't want to watch this. We'll go to a positive mindset. I'm a bit annoyed that Camp or Adamson, or Adamson, sorry, at the back there, haven't, um, haven't just bagged for us in the first few minutes. They've scored themselves, which is very greedy. They're tired though. Some of their boys, there's at least four of them struggling a little bit. That might play into our hands as the ball is put forward. We're deciding not to challenge for it, but we do come up with a second ball, which is just as important. And uh, now we're trying to make this pitch bigger. You can see Alabusu pushing forward on that side. He's come a little deeper though to be part of this attack. If he can get him on the ball and he can burst towards the byline, there's every chance for us as uh, the Gale Force brings it forward. Alabusu back out to Lehigh now. He goes back into the centre. Ossie Robinson back into Gale Force. Out to Lehigh again. Marky Fletcher waiting for it in the centre. But Pozzo, oh, he's come forward and he's banged it. Look at that. Ike Pozzo, fourth goal of the season. He's heard the murmurs. We might be changing your position a little bit and, and bringing someone else in further forward. He's gone, hey, 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 don't you worry about that. I can provide an attacking force. Um, not quite like Gale Force. We're using the word force too much. Ball played it back to Pozzo. Who 20 yards out on the left foot. It's a beautiful finish. It really was. When it looks good in Football Manager, you know it's good. All right, 1-1. One, one. Job's looking good so far. And uh, if we can just get a second, put ourselves into the lead, win this game, back into the automatic playoff spot. That's what I've promised. They didn't care. Come on, boys. A lot more to come from you. Believe you've got what it takes. And uh, that's not gone too badly. Some players need to up their game. Marky Fletcher, I'm looking at you. Come on, boys. Let's just uh, let's put our, let's put pedal to the metal, you know? Is it metal to the pedal? No, it's pedal to the metal. I don't drive, viewers. So I, I don't know. Riley on it back to Clark now and uh can we can we nab in there it's not looking like it's gonna happen quite yet Dowling back to Clark and uh, we've got to try and stave this off and then break away as fast as possible with oh it's a good block though I'll tell you what defensively solid we're quite narrow but defensively we shouldn't be quite as narrow Dowling there option to shoot goes for it but over the bar and uh, in the game so far you've got to say we are dominant from the possession to the shots uh, really this is our game for the taking let's make a few changes up front Rob Hall is, uh, is going to come on for Medea. I'm going to go slightly wider. We talked about it previously. In possession, let's play a, a fairly wide uh, situation from now on and maybe make a second change as well. Is there anything we want to bring on into this game? I'm thinking Jermaine Anderson, but... No, I'm going, to st I'm going to stick with. Marky Fletcher could also come out, but there's not too many striking options. I've once again cocked it up to the level that they've put strikers on the bench. Sorry, sorry, two goalkeepers on the bench and not put a striker on there. The problem we've got is that our two lone uh, strikers are lone strikers. So we obviously can't have too many on the pitch as uh, Lehigh has picked up a bit of a knock. But we've got a chance. We'll see what comes from this before we bring, uh, bring Rob France on. Is there going to be a chance for us to maybe do something here? Akumu, he's got it. 
and the Boston boys, with 12 minutes to go, look to take the lead for the first time in the game. Seddon, out on his left-hand side. Can he get the ball into the centre? He finds Robinson on the edge. He's gone for goal. Not quite found the back of the net, though. Uh, yeah, Lee Lehigh's going to have to come off. Rob France, the perfect player to bring on. And with 10 minutes, is there a winner in this for someone? I mean, hopefully for us, right? I mean, there's a corner. Marky Fletcher's on it. Ball whipped in. He's gone for goal. And uh, as uh, Compton claims. I'm not sure he was shooting. I, I don't want to tarnish him like that. As, um, looking at this here. They've got... 10 men they've had an injury i think after making all their changes and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten men with five minutes to go will that prove pivotal i didn't even notice until now but hall out to seddon if he pulls it back across to someone there robinson surely a chance now cleared away but i mean it's they're defending for their lives now our crew back out to seddon finds uh gale force he puts the ball in and abuse is there for a second time yes 2-1 boston take the lead as i say for the first time in the game the, the injury to crew i feel from the little bit you can't do much about that they've been fm'd to a certain extent and it looks like two wins on the bounce for us in this episode lovely ball across Alabusu first time finish didn't quite come off for him but second time he reacts quickly and uh 2-1 oh, but we're so good with the, with the assist of defenders helping out but uh six minutes of out of time free kick this isn't over for crew and travis johnson's oh i should have i shouldn't have stayed positive i should have gone defensive we're gonna go very attacking i mean we just stand still again marking optional it was an episode name recently we're still not, it's not It's not a full-time pursuit. As three minutes to go. I've gone very attacking. Hello. One minute to go. Ball played in. It's Hall. He's offside. I can see he's offside. I'm not getting excited. He's offside. Rob Hall, offside. Good free kick delivery, though. With 30 seconds to go, is there going to be one final twist? In fact, let's watch this again. Oh, he's barely off there. I mean, mm, I'm, I'll just stay quiet. The game's broken. 10 seconds left. Is there still hope? No, the hope, the hope has gone. I mean, Hall, though, there, there, there might be... A, oh, there's a slim chance there. There could maybe have been a late moment of drama. If Seddon puts a decent delivery in here, it could still happen. Alabusu! It's what a save. Again, oh, my word. I thought it was over. It wasn't over. And we could have snatched it at the last. We gave it away. We threw it away. And we could have grabbed it back. Not this time, though. Boston 2, Crew 2. And we remain unbeaten for the episode, which is not as impressive. All right, passionately say, uh, I was pretty happy. Oh, okay. No, I was furious. I mean, I mean, I was furious. I don't think that's all too bad. Right, the big news here, though. We've got a game in two, uh, two days, or three days, sorry. But what's happening with Gareth Hanna? I need to know. I need to, I need, I need to, ah, oh, don't know. I need, to, I need to get the information on this. I need to know what's going on before anything else. Let's rest the boys for our upcoming game at Stevenage. But I need to know what's happening with Gareth Hanna. I feel like we all need to know, viewers. We all need to know. Yeah, Lewis Gibbons can leave, everyone. I'm not, I really don't care. I'll offer him out for nothing. He can go. Li fine. You're not forcing a way out. I'm pushing you out the door. I'm shoving you through the cat flap is what we're doing. The problem we've got, obviously, is that there are there is interest from other teams. So if he's, if he's looking at a contract for Aston Villa, now where are Aston Villa right now? They are a Premier League side. 19th in the Premier League, though. It's not good. They're going nowhere, viewers. I noticed that Kylian Mbappe has signed for City. I mean, really, that's not that's that's fair. Portsmouth make France offer. Wow. I mean, they're already down the south coast. They're looking to take the whole of France now. Portsmouth needs to calm themselves down. Talk about expansion. I mean, that's outrageous. They've offered thirty-two thousand pounds for France. It's no, it's, you wouldn't even get one section of the Eiffel Tower for that. Now Birmingham want France. I mean, there's no way Birmingham are going to get France. The commute's already a nightmare. I mean, there's no there's no way. Viewers, I'm concerned. I don't think there's going to be any resolution on the uh, the situation with Gareth Hanna. So we'll have to find out what happens next time. Next episode, we'll start with Gareth Hanna information. I will see you for it. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we love with care for me to mention until next time. An action-packed episode. We'll never forget Brian Turner. What a goal.